there. Thank you for joining me. My name is Jacqueline and I teach beginning quilting and sewing on my YouTube channel. And um, if you're new and joining me, I usually start from the very beginning, uh, go through the process of cutting, making the blocks, doing the quilting, doing the binding. I teach it all. You will know from one video to the finish how to make a quilt. So uh, <clears throat> today I want to show you a, a, a it's a review of a past quilt that I made because I made this probably two years ago or maybe even longer. And a lot of you are, are new to my channel maybe and haven't seen all of the previous videos. The name of this quilt is a uh, snowball and it's a baby quilt. <clears throat> well, the reason I'm telling you all of this is it's for a great granddaughter and she is due in November. Well, what's so special, you know, quilts, I'm gonna show it to you in just a minute. Quilts have a story behind them a lot of times. And uh, my granddaughter's other grandmother was a friend of mine. And uh, one day she said, she called me and she said, I'm gonna be in town and I'm gonna bring you some fabric. I've just got more than I know what to do with and I wanna share with you. And she brought me five, five 32 gallon trash bags to the brim, full. Uh, oh my, this is the best gift I've ever received. <coughs> well, I used a lot of those fabrics, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to make this baby quilt. And I set it aside and I told myself when Katie, my granddaughter and her granddaughter, has a baby on down the road. This is going to be her quilt because it will be part of both grandmothers. Her other grandmother provided the fabrics and I did the work and, and it'll be a part of both of us. And it's very special because her grandmother uh, other grandmother passed away about a year and a half ago and she was very close to her. So I'm going to tell her that story when I give it to her. <clears throat> so she uh, feels, I hope, a special bond between the two grandmothers. Okay, let me put the camera down. What I'm going to do is put a link to the playlist for this quilt. Uh, <clears throat> for those that are interested and you might want to make it because it is so simple. It is a beginner's quilt. It really is. It only consists of two blocks and you can do it. So let's put the camera down so we can see what we're talking about. I chose uh, these fabrics because, see, at the time, I didn't know. I'll get the camera straight here in just a second. I didn't know at the time, you know, if, if we would be having a little boy or a little girl. So I decided on these fabrics because I just thought they were very generic and would work for either one. Well, as you can see, I don't know if you know how to make a snowball, but all you do, I think these are six inch squares, and you you take one of these little two, I don't remember if they're two or two and a half, all these little squares, but you take one and put it on the corner and sew it right there, trim underneath and press it out on all four corners, and that creates your snowball. Very, very simple. Then you have this little uh, 
block, which is just a nine patch. And that's all there is, is these two. But it's the way you place it and lay it out that uh, it's really laid out on the diagonal and just so simple to put together, just so easy. When I get through hand quilting it, and I'll put it on the floor or the bed so that you can see a layout of how it goes diagonally. You can machine quilt this, you can hand quilt. Uh, this with just simple lines would be all you'd need. Just maybe three through each block and uh, maybe some diagonal lines through here. I like that and that's all you need. That's all you need. So, it's good to review sometimes because I know I've made a quilt that had blue and yellow in it and it was very, very popular. So I thought, well, I'm gonna show everybody what I'm working on on this one. Uh, this is how I mark my hand quilting. I, do you see the red? That's a friction pin. And I just mark it and then I stitch it and then touch it with an iron and it's gone. So remember, if you want, if you're interested in making this uh, snowball baby quilt, uh, to look under the description, and I'll have a link to the playlist, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're having a wonderful day, and that life is going well for you. God bless you, and take care.